right in. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Gareth. I'm in Glenbrook today. We're going to be doing some filming here and all around the Blue Mountains in a new travel series that I'm going to be calling The Mountain Walk. Could have been better than that. Uh, yeah, I'm starting a weekly video every week all throughout the Sydney, Australia Blue Mountains. Fingers crossed. I've been wanting to do something like this for a little while now. I'm going to be showing you guys really interesting landmarks, historic train tunnels. Now the Blue Mountains have actually had over three different railway lines in the past, which is really interesting when you think about it. Uh, the, the third one is the current brand new one. Something really interesting about Glenbrook train station is that on the other side of the station, pretty much most of the side is just bushland as far as the eye can see. But this side is the heart of the town. This is pretty much the third alteration of the railway line coming up to the Blue Mountains. So according to a really cool historic sign right to my left, right left, that's rather confusing isn't it? This is actually the fourth version of Glenbrook Station. So that sign that I'm showing you now is pretty much a memorial for the Glenbrook train disaster. It happened between two trains in between the stations going towards Penrith. Quite a few people died unfortunately. This is me just wanting to show you guys some of the train history here in the Blue Mountains and Glenbrook. So this right here is actually the original Glenbrook train station. Uh, there were three different railway lines up to the Blue Mountains. We're currently on the third version, I guess you could say. All right guys, so if you're not from the area, uh, Blackson, Wentworth and Lawson were pretty much the three originals. They are the OGs, original gangsters. These three were kind of the ones who brought uh, life to the Blue Mountains. Now obviously the Aboriginals, the Aboriginal culture was, was up here in the Blue Mountains in Australia for probably thousands and thousands of years. But uh, they brought white men up here and eventually the train line and the cars eventually came up. And here we are today. Incredible. So next to the Lapton sign, which is 160 meters above sea level apparently, uh, is the start of this train line. Well, it's not the start of the train line. The train line went from the base of the Blue Mountains up to the very top. How cool is that? That's the train line. That's the old train line, the single track oh, really? through the tunnel. But this is a small section that is now closed, unfortunately. It was a single track, one of three variations. I think this was the second two, two piece, man. This was the second variation in the design. The first design to get up to the Blue Mountains was actually using a zigzag railway type thing. Uh, it's a shame they don't use that anymore. Not even for tourist rides, it's completely gone. But of course there is a second very famous zigzag railway in zigzag but unfortunately because of bushfires and some vandalism as well it's not running any further but this one has not been used in ages let's go <laughs> one thing you've got to be careful when you go for bushwalks like this are spiders and spider nests spider with i got it on your oh face my baby God. Uh, usually if you leave them alone, they'll leave you alone, but they may not think that you're trying to leave them alone when you face plant their web. So you got to be careful. Yeah. What'd you say? There's two little baby ferns here. Really? Yeah. yeah really, really cute, wouldn't they? Mm -hmm. So for some weird reason, this part of the railway track, which is like a three, four minute walk, kind of just abruptly ends. And we've got to walk up that thing now. We don't know why. Another thing you need to be very, very careful about when you go for bushwalks like this is the cliff down below. It's not the fall that'll kill you. It's probably the sudden drop. Yeah. Okay. The main road is up there. <laughs> so for some strange reason, we now have to do Tarzan to 
get to the actual train, the old train line. It kind of branches off in a weird way. We don't know why that is, but. How about we run and then jump and then land on those two trees yeah. and gracefully slide down. All right, that's the plan. Okay, so update, we just walked down again. We've got to go around somehow. I'm not sure why they built it like this, but there seems to be, it seems to be like a mistake that they made. It's like they built, you know, they dug out a bit of a path for a train line and then they just left it, if that makes any sense. This is definitely a man-made cutting. Yeah. And it's definitely cornered just right for a train. It's like they made this and they made a mistake while they made it, if that makes any sense. So that's where we just came from, right there. And there's a big water tank here, which is where our car is parked. Now we think on the other side of this water tank is where the actual train line was. So I'm guessing this is the other side, the path to the other side. There's a bee stuck in, this, in the web. I think we definitely seem to be on the right path now. So yeah, now the Glenbrook uh, railway tunnel is quite long actually. Some people call it the Lapston Tunnel, some people call it the Glenbrook Tunnel. We report, you decide. Fox News. Looks like there used to be a gate here. Not anymore. Yeah, you probably shouldn't be like me. Wear shoes, guys. Wear shoes. The rock looks amazing how the water reflects like that. This could be a problem. All right, so something very, very strange. Clearly back in the day, the railway track never jumped up there. It's continuing on that way. But at the moment, there is absolutely no way to get there. I mean, I'd need a machete or something like that. This is where the path goes up and that's where the train line is down below and as you guys can see there does not seem to be any walking areas you know snakes are down there and whatever else i don't know You would not want to fall down. Either side of our track now has a huge drop. Huge, huge drop. Can you guys see what's behind me? No, 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 not there. There? The hell is that? Looks like, looks like something out of the Blair Witch Project. What the hell is going on here? Uh, that's some freaky shit right there. Human sacrifices? Maybe. What do you think it was, babe? Those sticks? I don't know. It doesn't even look like it was a flood or something that pushed it into No, nah, people have been doing it. Too organized. Yeah. So guys, even more so, uh, either side of this track has a huge drop. You don't want to fall either side, otherwise it's GG. That means good game for those gamers out there. Good game usually means it's the end of the game. GG! Wow guys, this is it. This is the tunnel entrance right here. Take a look at that. And the drop is just, wow. I don't know, it's a long way down. Can you see that? There's the tunnel entrance down there. Let's get a closer look. Wow.
You all right, babe? She's down this area here. That's where the tunnel is, guys. Wow. Check that out there. Unbelievable. That is awesome. Hey babes. Around the tunnel. Around the top of the tunnel, just here. Can you see the path down there, babe? So there is a bit of a path down there. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get to it in this video. As you guys can see, if I raise the brightness up a little bit, uh, there's, a, there's a brick wall. It has been bricked in. That's crazy. There's a bit of trash down there as well. Alright, so this is the problem that I'm faced with right now. Uh, if I go down by climbing on the cliffs, I'm going to die. If I go the other way, a snake's going to get me. We'll have to try something, I think. Yep, it's a very, very long way down. Oh man, what am I going to do? Check this out, guys. You can see, right here, you can see back in the olden days, they drilled a big drill, a big steel drill in between the rock. And then, uh, then they cracked open the rock to form this tunnel. Now guys, there are a couple famous photos when this tunnel was actually getting built. And there's even a famous painting. The painting was done in the 1800s. And if you look carefully in this painting, which I'm probably showing you now, it even depicts a guy on a stretcher who's getting taken out because he's not well, he's been hit by a rock landslide or something like that. A couple of people apparently have died in this tunnel. Also, two trains crashed into each other, and I think it was just outside of the tunnel, which would be just here, I think. Now, this is the east side of the tunnel. Of course, there is the other side, the west. Hey baby. <sighs> Alright, so I'm walking back to see where Vicky has gone and I think I'm gonna give it a go. I think I might have to do it slowly by myself, probably. But I'm gonna walk through the gully. All right, so I'm back here in this area again, and I'm gonna travel alone. Will you be okay, Vicky? All right, I'm going down to the, to the actual tunnel now. Here we go. You guys remember this area? This is taking me to the actual tunnel. So, babes. Yeah. Oh my God. I am sinking in this. I am 100% sinking inside of this. Wow. 
this this can't be safe. My feet just keep sinking inside the dirt. It is so wet. Oh my god, it's up to my leg. That's how stuck I am right now. Oh my god. It's a good job you didn't come down here, babe. Oh. This is not good. I'm definitely having a bath when I get back. Wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. This is bad. This is very bad. Unbelievable. I'm really worried about... I'm really worried about putting my foot through an old railway spike or something like that. If I would have brought shoes, I mean, that wouldn't have been much better either. This is honestly some of the thickest scrub and bushland I've ever been in, I think. Oh yeah, 100%. Just imagine though, back in the day, steam train coming right behind me or right in front of me. Can you guys see the spider web? I have no idea what these spiders are. And my thong just broke. The water keeps spraying on my back when I lift my feet up. Look what just happened to me, guys. My leg is right in. Wow. That is not good. There's the tunnel. I reached a friendly tip. If you want to come to this place, don't come when it's been raining. Come when there's a bit of a drought. 100% wait for the drought. Wow, check that out. We made it. Unbelievable. Wow. That's literally where I was sitting and laying down on the floor up there looking down and Vicky was up there Wow, there was a huge, huge breeze coming from this tunnel. I can hear my echo. That's bad. I just stood on this and it's like quicksand. There's like bubbles coming from underneath. Do you see that? I'm hoping if I stand in that, I won't sink. Yeah, that's extremely deep. I can't go any further than that. Maybe I can. Oh, man, that is crazy. Can you guys see inside? Oh, yeah. If I put my foot there, will it support my weight? I'm not really sure. I'm going to use this. Oh, wow. This is so dangerous. My 
my stick just fell. I'll try and zoom in a little bit for you guys. That's about as far as I can go. Oh shit, here we go, here we go. Balance act time. Wow. <laughs> I've literally got to go back now. I've literally got to go back to where I came from and get my knees uh, stuck in mud. Terrible. Do not come here after it's been raining. Do not. But yeah, they plan. They actually plan on building a bike track through here eventually someday. And it could be happening soon. There was some recent news articles about it. I'll probably show you the other side eventually. All right, guys. So about one week has passed. We are now on the other side of the tunnel. Well, hoping so at least. This is actually the road which goes to the tunnel and the old train station which we showed you earlier would have been pretty much behind me that way. I'm also using a brand new 10 to 18 millimeter Canon EFS lens. So this is my first time doing it. Hopefully the results are really good. Here we go. Okay guys, so the road kind of goes up that way towards Penrith and Sydney. And of course, that goes back up to the Blue Mountains, to the very top of the Blue Mountains, but we are now still traveling down here. Wow, so this is the tunnel cutting. Unbelievable. If a train would have been here back in the past, it would have absolutely squashed me right now. Take a look at that. Wow. Can you believe it? We just reached the tunnel. <laughs> what the hell? We thought this was someone's house. In the dark, it looks like it's potentially someone's house. Check that out, guys. Vicky's already at the tunnel entrance. This side of the tunnel is a million times easier to get to. Wow. What does it look like through there, babe? I wish we had a torch so we could see further in there. Yeah, you're right. Check out the locks this place has. Really big locks. So because the tunnel is slanted down, all the water pretty much goes down that way, which we would know because we've just seen that bit now. <laughs> it's very dry on the side, but terribly wet, terribly, terribly wet on the other. Uh, well, this is us make believing that we're actually in the tunnel. Now, the awkward, tricky part is actually getting the camera out of this area. Echo, echo. Hello. Is there anybody there? Go away, go away, go away. Do you guys see that? There used to be a light bulb about here but not anymore what kind of engine is this lister is that a lister that's crazy this area is a complete mess you gotta admit that's pretty cool hey look at that so would this have been a generator for the lights in the tunnel or would it have been a water pump type thing, I don't know. Looks like there would have been a belt that would have been driven around here sometime. Wow, you guys see that? There used to get sensor light here. And was this the switch for it? I'm not sure. There's spiders on there, gotta be careful.
as you guys can see there's like bits and pieces of this machine that's been taken apart um, hopefully they can restore the machine at some point it's probably workable it does have a roof so guys this is the extreme side of the tunnel there's like packed rock and stuff like that on the very edge of the tunnel pretty cool hey how they did it so babe what are your thoughts on this tunnel adventure so far you've been on both sides what are well, your the other side i didn't get to come down close to the tunnel though yeah that's true it's very interesting cool all right guys that's been this tunnel video. I really hoped you enjoyed my adventure. It took us uh, two weeks and two different tries to get to both different sides of this tunnel. Wow, I almost died on the other side. Don't forget to give me a like and a subscribe and ring the bell, otherwise you're not gonna get notifications when I go on a new adventure somewhere really, really cool. Now you can find me on my two different YouTube channels. I'm making daily videos on my second channel and I'm making weekly videos on my first channel, which is the one that you're watching this on right now. This is my first channel. I love you all. And ring the bell, otherwise you're not going to get notifications when I go on a new adventure somewhere really, really cool. Uh, bye, guys.